Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Greta and today I'm going to show you how to edit, crop, and add text to your post. So first select the post you would like to edit and then go ahead and click on the magic wand tool. When it comes to editing, we have so many different features that you can use. Let's take a look at a few of our filters. So we have some different black and white filters. If you select the filter and then you can go ahead and slide this either to the right or to the left to change how subtle or intense you want it to be. I personally really like a vintage filter. I think this is really beautiful, but I'm just going to make it a little more subtle and that looks perfect to me. When it comes to doing the basic adjustments, you'll just click here and then you can play around with the brightness, the saturation, contrast, so on and so forth. We also have refinements such as clarity, temperature, sharpness, and even more. A little tip that I have is if you take a photo on let's say a cloudy day, and you want it to appear sunny, you're just going to play around with temperature. If you pull it to the right, it's going to bring in more yellow tones, which can give that sunny look. And to the left, it's going to bring in much cooler tones. I'm going to leave this in the middle. You can also just type in the number that you want it at as well instead of sliding it and that makes it super easy and you can always set it back to zero to reset it when it comes to focus you can play around with what you want in focus and you can adjust how small or big you want that focus to be again you can always adjust how intense or subtle you would like it this is a really great hack if you are taking photos on your iPhone, for example. Any really nice quality lens usually has a really great depth of field, which creates this contrast between what's in focus and what's not in focus. And so using this to kind of trick the eye and make it look more like a professional photo is really helpful. Let's go back up to the top and I'm going to show you transform. So here we have so many different options to crop your images. We even have it by platform. So if you want to specifically crop it for a story or a LinkedIn post or a Facebook post or ad, you can do all of that right here. Or you can crop it custom. You can also adjust the horizon, which for any ocean photos is definitely a must. You can flip it, turn the image, and rotate it. Now let's talk about text. If you want to get creative on your own, go ahead and click the text tool. Here you can adjust the size, the font, the boldness, background, spacing, all of that. To duplicate your text, you can select this. And to delete, you just click the delete button here. But let's say you kind of want it just done for you. That's where our beautiful text editor comes in and it, this is so helpful. Just type what you want it to say. You can go ahead and move it around to adjust and pull at the corners to resize. From here, you can then select all different types of designs and find one that works for you. And within the design, there are so many more options, so make sure you don't miss that. If you want to add a background, just select this here. I'll delete this for now so I can show you some other cool features. Next, let's talk about stickers. So these are really fun. I recommend using these especially for stories. You can scroll through or even upload your own. 
To add a sticker, you simply select it and then you can flip it or adjust it by pulling at the corners. And again, you can also adjust the opacity depending on how transparent or obvious you want it to be. Our brush tool allows you to get creative and our frames allow you to add another element of dimension. I really love using frames in a subtle way. You can turn this down a lot and just have it be a little something extra. And last but not least, we have our overlays. Again, you can adjust this to where you want it. This light leak makes it really look like summer to me. And again, I'm such a sucker for that vintage look. Once you're done editing and adding everything you want, you can either hit export and this is going to save the image to your computer or you can hit save. Don't forget, if you need to go back and make any adjustments, you can always click the magic wand tool again and it will bring you back into the image editor. Or if you want to revert the post to its original form, you can click this at any time and it will bring you back to the original. I hope this was helpful and happy planning.